Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous little uh, Christmas tree topiary, I guess. I call it a topiary. It's probably not a topiary, but yeah. Um, so if you want to see how I made it, then keep watching. For this project, you're going to need two bags of this face filler. They come in three different colors. There's um, blue and white, green and red, and silver and gold. So I picked up two of the traditional color. You're also going to need, they call this floral foam, I call it a foam topiary. <laughs> That's what I've always called it. So you'll need one of these. You'll also need some sort of thin ribbon. This is from Joanne Fabrics last year. Still pretty inexpensive if you can see, it was $3.99. I probably got it 70% off. You will also need one of these ceramic candle pillar stick holder things. They sell these in white and black. And then you will need a hot glue gun and a lot of glue sticks. So let's get started. All right, I have everything open and I guess Basil is just gonna be the star of the show today. He is teething, so he's like a little fluffy, adorable alligator. <laughs> I think he's gonna go play with his toys now. He's bored of me. So I've just gone ahead and opened this. I've poured all of the face filler out into a bowl just so I can see um, all the different shapes and sizes. So all I'm gonna do is literally start gluing this on. This is the simplest thing ever. So here we go. And I'm just gonna alternate colors around the bottom. You could make a uh, just a big band of glue around the bottom of this and then glue them on that way. But I would, mm, I don't know. I feel like it's easier just to place it on the ball and then place the ball on the foam just so you know um, you're getting glue on the ball. That's my biggest fear is I put a big band of glue around and <laughs> it's not even going to stick anything on. So let me do this first layer and I'll come back. Alright, so here is our first layer and I've still got strings everywhere. So here's our first layer. And we'll do the second layer in the same exact size. So I'll go do that layer. I do want to mention that you're going to want to lay a uh, layer of glue down. I don't know if you can see it right here. Um, I laid a reinforcement layer down <laughs> once I got all those on there just to make sure that everything is really stuck on because we don't want these falling off. All right, the second layer is done, and I do want to point out that these are, once you get to the second layer, they will not fit perfectly all the way around this, so you're gonna have to put a smaller one in the middle. You can make this the back of your topiary. So here's this once again, and all I'm gonna do is put another uh, reinforcement layer of glue and then we'll continue on. I've placed all of the large balls on this topiary now. And as you can see, I just took smaller ones and filled the holes that were up close. We don't have to worry about these gaps because we're going to keep going. So now that we've made it to the top, you see that we have a flat top. We're going to take I do want to mention too that between these two bags you should literally have just enough of the largest size ball to complete to this point where it stops. So I'm going to take the next size down and I'm going to put the glue on the bottom and glue it to the balls that are underneath it. You can see that. 
and I'm just going to continue following the same pattern that I've been following. And you really do want to make sure that these are secured down because um, if you don't, this will fall apart on you and you will be upset because it's happened to me before and it was very frustrating. So again, whatever spot, I can't fit the same size directly to the form. I'm just going to place a different one and then at the very top, I'm going to Well, my one big ball that's left is destroyed, so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to open up a third one just to get one more of these large balls. And I'm going to put a lot of hot glue at the bottom and press that in to the top and then hold everything together. So there we have that. So now we're going to go through and fill in where we can see white gaps using our smaller little balls here. So this is where following a pattern really isn't necessary and it doesn't really matter what size balls you're using. Just take what you have left and fill in spots, but again, really make sure that your base filler is adhering to this. So I'm going to go through, probably use up all the rest of these, oops, as I throw them on the floor and then I'll come back. The whole form is covered now. I've done, basically it's like two layers and I've just filled in where I thought it was sparse. Um, I still have quite a bit of balls left. I'll probably just use those to decorate something else. But once you get to the second layer, they stick to each other better than they stick to the form. So you don't really have to worry about holding it too long. So I've just made a little simple bow here. And I'm going to put that on top just like that. But first I want to show you that if you can find these, um, I'm pretty sure every store sells these except Dollar Tree which is kind of shocking. I got these for 32 cents on clearance somewhere but um if you can get your hands on these you can use one of these for the top and it would be really cute but I am going to use my little cute bow here that I made. Just put a good dollop of hot glue up there and stick her on and then you can leave it on the table just like this or if you make multiple of these and you want to add some height you can put it right on top of this there you go um, and if you want it permanently on here, you can glue it to this candle pillar. So yeah, there it is. And I hope you make one. It's definitely a cheaper alternative to the ornament ones that take a ton of ornaments to make. So this cost $3 to make. So yeah. I hope you guys give it a try and thank you for watching.